Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on why the calculator displays fraction answers rather than decimals. So this is a video in response to some comments and questions that people have been asking about how they can get their answers to automatically be a decimal when they input a fraction or calculations involving fractions. So if I input three fifths here and I press equals, immediately I just get the answer three fifths. The calculator by default displays a fraction in the first instance and I have to press then SD to change that to a decimal. And part of the problem that people have been asking is, well, how do I permanently get a decimal on there? Well, even if you change to line mode, as I'm doing now, then you still get the fraction answer in the first instance. And there is a reason why the calculator does this. And I'm best off demonstrating this with a calculation. So if I switch back to math input and output, and I'm going to do the calculation of square root 2 over 2 multiplied by 1 third. And if I press equals, I get the solution of square root 2 over 6. Now this is an exact answer. Now previous generations of calculators couldn't actually give you a result like this. And this exact answer really is the perfect answer to that question, if you like. If you press SD to get a decimal, this is only an approximation. Although we've got quite a number of digits there, the decimal would continue beyond past what we can see and past what the calculator can calculate to. But this is actually a, a quite a recent innovation and why it's quite useful for a lot of mathematicians is because that might be the answer that they need. And I know it sounds annoying if you want the decimal for your answer. Now there is a way that we can change it for calculations such as this. If you go to shift and then setup, and we're going to press 1 for maths input and output. And then we want 2 for the line output. Just going to repeat the same calculation again. So square root 2 over 2 times by uh, 1 third. And it will go straight now to the decimal approximation. So for calculations like this, even if I press SD, it's not changing it to a fraction. Now I think this is more to do with the fact that we have a radical or a third on the top there, that square root two. If I input say two fifths and press equals, I still get the two fifths answer initially. I'd have to press SD to get the decimal. And even if I do a calculation, let's say a simple calculation like add another two fifths, again I'm still getting a fraction answer in the first instance. Now I've done a little bit of exploring I can't find another way of displaying the answer so that you permanently get a decimal no matter what calculation that you do. I'm more than willing to be proved wrong, so if you do know a way, please let me know in the comments below. Failing that, if you are so keen to get a decimal answer, then perhaps the only real solution is to go for a previous generation of calculator that might only give you a decimal approximation in the first instance. But I would argue that that's a little bit of a step backwards. Much better to have the fraction answer because it is an exact result rather than a decimal approximation, even though I appreciate it can be frustrating to have to press SD if you require the decimal equivalent, but perhaps a minor sacrifice for a major leap forward in terms of what calculators can help us with. But as I said, if you know any differently, please let me know. But if not, that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time on the Calculator Guide.